What is up, everyone? It is Andy on a Monday here, and I hope that you lost internet like five minutes into my last video because you would have thought, oh my God, this guy did unbelievable for me. On the early picks in the London game, clean sweep across the board. I hit that plus 800 parlay for you. I was thrilled. I'm like, oh, it's going to be one of those days. It's going to be one of those Rakers Delight Sundays. And that's about where the fun stopped. Gabe Davis over. Ridley adjusted overs. All those hit. The Jaguars came through. They covered. I mean, they stra straight up won. But then after that, I can't tell you. Of all the bet, Waddle, okay, he scored a touchdown. He was a part of the, joined in on the fun. But I am shocked that Devontae Smith in back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back weeks had lackluster performances. It was finally time for Dallas Goddard to shine, but my God, you got to think next week, unless they have a bye, that, look, you know I'm going to go back to that, but awful read on the San Francisco-Dallas game. I just thought, okay, Dallas had their embarrassing West Coast game two weeks ago. Are they going to come back and have another embarrassing West Coast game against the team who eliminated them twice in the playoffs. I thought they were going to show up for them. I thought it was your classic primetime rat. It just, I got the early rat. No late. I was that guy. I partied too hard in the morning and I didn't make it to the party at night. Everything went well early. Everything went awful at night. So you know, worst case scenario, I mean, if I hit the plus 800 for you, hopefully you at least got some thrills out of your day because I imagine you took some of those winnings and then sprinkled them around. But, you know, I am still kind of happy that I really nailed those ones for you. And shame on me for thinking we were going to get a good primetime game. Just another beating, never a riveting game. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's right back to two weird mediocre teams tonight can you tell me with confidence just like that giants game last one another one and a half two point spread and i'm going to be looking to odd shopper premium to help me out you guys should definitely check out odd shopper premium you can find some deals on there i call it the area 51 bunker analytics and at any time i need to add something to a same game parlay I can find something on there. Like there's like one or two picks I like from this game, but if I need to hit a boost on one of these websites because they're offering, oh, add three legs and then we'll boost this up. I go to Odd Shopper Premium to grab some of those. I find the first one with a plus EV that I kind of agree with. How stubborn is that? I'd rather take the second suggestion from Odd Shopper because I happen to agree with it. Ah, well, you know how it goes. I, I like to be where stats meet sniffs anyway we got this game going on between the Raiders and the Packers the last time the Packers played in prime time it was like last or, I mean they're playing back-to-back -back weeks but it feels like it was so long ago lackluster performance on them we got the Jordan Love that I thought we would be seeing going into the year but it got a little blurred by some of those wins that they threw out there in the first couple of weeks but then you got the Raiders with Garoppolo just this random assortment of semi New England players what the hell's going to happen in this one one thing that's going to happen in this one is that you're going to get a chance to use that bet 365 promotion where you're going to deposit 10 bet 5 get 150 so if you don't know what's going on in this game it's all right deposit five bet 10 and you'll have 150 to use on some of these bets i'm going to tell you but you do got to be over 21 and you got to be in a state that has bet 365 unless you're in canada i know it's all in canada but if you want to take advantage of this promotion click the appropriate links in the description of this video if you're from saskatchewan don't click on that new jersey link all right i'm sure if you're smart enough to be sports betting i'm sure you're smart enough to figure out which link to click you got to be over 21 and if you or anyone you know has a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER and somebody will be there to help you out, okay? So my favorite pick in this game, you got to assume that he's nearing close to full health, Aaron Jones, right? He played in the last game, turned into a blowout. They kind of managed his reps, but that was, a, that was last Thursday night football. We're talking about 
Not the Thursday after that, not the Sunday after that. The you So you add almost another 10 days on top of that. I'm going to assume that Aaron Jones is nearing full. He's getting closer to full health. And we know he's an unbelievable receiver. We saw him take a screen. The screen that he hurt his hamstring on went for like 60-something yards. I'm going to take the over on Aaron Jones receiving yards in this game against Las Vegas. I want you to put this next pick I'm about to tell you under the Odd Shopper premium picks. Same type of thing. The two guys, it was their first game in a while. It was, it was Christian Watson's first game of the season, and then Jones uh, after a few missed weeks. But you got to assume Watson is now close, uh, getting closer to full health. He scored a touchdown in the last game, didn't pop any of those long ones. I'm going to take the over on his longest reception. It's like 18 and a half. We know he's a burner. He could take a screen behind the line of scrimmage for 25 yards so i'm going to take the over then looking at those odd shopper premium picks they're going back to the pick that they hit for you last the under like three and a half on uh catches for luke musgrave now he left that last game with a concussion but i'm going to kind of stick with that same kind of thing that i said during that game you're reintroducing aaron jones into the offense you're reintroducing christian watson to the offense romeo dobbs has been playing pretty well this year he's drawing consistent targets so I don't know if there's going to be enough to go around. Jordan Love is not really all that great so far this season. It's not like he's lighting it up and sprinkling it all over the field. So I think that under three and a half for Luke Musgrave is actually a pretty solid bet once again. They also like the over on Jordan Love's rushing yards. We see that he can run the ball, and any time a quarterback, especially a young quarterback, is struggling throwing the ball, if they're missing throws a lot and they need those first downs, you know they get tempted to run. We've seen him run in many games this season. Wouldn't be surprised if he picked up a couple of first downs with his legs. You know the Raiders' defense isn't really much to worry about over there. The optimal indoor playing conditions in Vegas. But is that one of those re re semi retractable rules? I don't know, but it always looks comfortable when you're watching games over there. I'll take the Odd Shopper Premium approved over on Jordan Love rushing yards. I don't know. I'm not going to take a side in this game. I always tell you that I'm not just going to say it just to say it. This is, you can lump this in with some of those other crusty games. I, do, I just prefer Sundays because I can look down the assortment and usually there's going to be a couple of things I like. But in this one, my favorite one is really just the Aaron Jones over on receiving. If you need some more of my best bets, you want to know what you can do? Come back to this channel tomorrow because we got opening night NHL hockey bets. And I know some of you have been dying. So we will have them for you here on this Odd Shopper channel, which you should be subscribed to, along with my YouTube channel, which you should be subscribed to, along with my social media pages, which you should be subscribed to, along with everything else that you should be doing. Like what? What should we be doing? Andy, we, we work for you now. What should we do? Well, like this video, comment on the video, share it with people so, you know, you can boot me up this never-ending fight against the algorithm, all right? I will see you guys tomorrow night for opening night NHL, unless you despise the NHL and then you don't have to watch it. But I tend to make it entertaining for those who may not watch it. So come check it out. I will see you then. Take it easy.